Welcome back to Cord Cutting Today, where we break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of cord cutting, including today, Fubo facing possible bankruptcy. They put a stern warning out in a memo about the possibility of basically running out of money. We'll take a look at what's happening there and what they say can happen to help them avoid that. Paramount shutting down their studio to make movies and televisions. Now, they're not getting out of that business completely, but the studio best known for making Star, the original Star Trek and I Love Lucy and more is going away once again. And a whole lot more coming up real quick. First of all, before we get into all the stories we're about to talk about, if you want to learn more about any of these stories, check out the show notes and in the first pinned comment, I'll put a link to each story there so you can read them for yourself and come up with your own opinion. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people. With that said, start off with Fubo today. Fubo sent a very bleak warning in a memo this week after its closing arguments and its attempt to block the launch of Venue Sports came out, warning that Venue, uh, or if Venue Sports launches the joint streaming service between Fox, Disney, and Warner Bros. Discovery that will offer live streaming of their sports networks, if that happens, Fubo may become um, insolvent and have basically insufficient funds to be able to continue its operations. They're very much afraid that Venue Sports is going to steal a good chunk of their customers, put them in trouble. Now, Fubo at this time has been unprofitable since it launched back in 2015. For about nine years now, Fubo has not made a profit and they continue to work to try to become profitable. So far, investors have propped up the company by investing money in it with the goal of something becoming profitable. They've tried many things. So far, that hasn't all come together, though they continue to reduce their losses and grow slowly but steadily. Now they worry about insolvency. Now insolvency basically means they have the inability to pay all their debts. This is what Dish is also facing here. With that, that's kind of the first step. Once you hit insolvency, the next logical thing is either one, two things. Hey, shut down, sell everything off, pay your debts that way. Declare bankruptcy, try to reorganize. We'll see what happens here. But they say that only will happen if Venue Sports launches. If Venue Sports is successfully blocked in court, then they believe they can continue. If it successfully launches, it seems like they believe that enough of their customers will switch from Fubo to Venue Sports that would have a significant impact on their ability to continue to do business and put them under. I'll be interested to see what happens here. Fubo, you know, well, let's back up real quick. I've said this for years. There are more streaming services on the market than the market can support. That means, if you think about it, there's Fubo, Hulu Plus Live TV, YouTube TV, Sling TV, Philo, Friendly, and others on the market right now that offer live TV streaming. Venue will join that market. How many live TV services can the market sustain when most of them, if not all of them, are not profitable right now? That's the big question here. And Fubo lacks a major backer. You know, YouTube TV has Google and Hulu has Disney and the list goes on. Sling has Dish, which is also struggling and also in trouble right now. So it's kind of a game right now, almost as if everybody's looking at each other saying, I hope you go under first so I can take your customers and become profitable. I think everybody's looking at Fubo a little bit, wondering the same thing. I would not be surprised at all if what they're saying here is not very true. Now, this was spotted in a memo um, published over at The Wrap, but it would not surprise me at all if this is why Fubo is being so aggressive trying to fight this, as they see this as a last-ditch effort, that they really are facing very tight money situations. As investors have recently been pulling back from dumping money into um, streaming services out there. So we'll wait and see what happens this year. Now, Fubo is not alone in this struggle. Other streaming services have found themselves needing to raise capital. We talked about Dish needing to do that for both its satellite and a streaming service, but others are also trying to find a way to call runway, have enough runway, have enough capital raised so that they can make profitability and then start paying back their investors. Investors seem a little less willing to wait for that right now than they were in years past. Leave me a comment. Do you think Fubo is going to go bankrupt or do you think they will find a way to get out of this and go forward. Leave me a comment, let me know. The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of the, the Rings of Power Season 1 is now streaming for free online. Samsung TV Plus has struck a deal with Amazon to um, stream the first season ahead of the launch of the second season on August 29th. 
So if you've been thinking about checking out this show, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, you can watch it for free on Samsung TV+. Plus. They have a mobile app and other devices, but it is included on newer Samsung TV, smart TVs. Question, anybody seen the show? Are you a Lord of the Rings fan? Are you giving this a thumbs up or thumbs down? Leave me a comment, let me know. All right, next up, Paramount shutting down its TV studios. Now, not all of them, just the Paramount branded ones, but this is the studio that traces its legacy directly back to the original studio that was responsible for the production of Star Trek, I Love Lucy, and more. Now they're going to mer merge current projects over to the CBS Studios project, but Paramount's attempt to launch its own studio here is gone. Now this is best known probably recently for the Jack Ryan TV show that aired on Amazon um, Prime, but it had many other shows. A few years ago, there was a huge demand for content to fill all these streaming services. So Paramount launched this and got into the business once again to try to meet that demand. Well, that demand's drying up. Companies are spending less on new content to try to focus on profitability instead of trying to focus on just getting enough content. And because of that, Paramount's decided to shut down Paramount um, streaming service. We'll see what happens. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this. I'd love to hear from you. All right, if you are a DoorDash member, if you sign up for the DoorDash Pass, which gives you free delivery through DoorDash, you can now get the free ad-supported version of Max. Again, if you subscribe to DoorDash's Plus service to get free delivery uh, through DoorDash, you now also get the ad-free or ad-supported version of Max with that. Pretty good deal. We've talked about this before, but it's a one more great way that you can get caught content with stuff you already pay for. If you're like me, you probably use food delivery services more than you should. I'll be honest, I'm guilty of that recently. I've been pretty busy. But check it out. Another benefit there is DoorDash tries to fight Uber Eats and stand out. All right, Local Now is adding more channels. The free ad supported streaming service now has over 500 new channels. They've been slowly adding a lot of content, including content from BBC and others like The Carol Burnett Show. One of the most recent additions is Entertainment Tonight. If you want to see a full list of all the channels Local Now has been adding, check out the show notes down below. All right, Pluto TV um, recently removed Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy as part of a deal that ended with um, Sony. They had a contract to put a bunch of Sony uh, channels on Pluto TV. It seems like that's ended and left many people upset because now there's no streaming option for Wheel of Fortune. Good news, Wheel of Fortune has posted on their Facebook account letting customers know they've heard you, and new streaming options are coming soon. They stopped short of saying what it was. We'll have to keep a very close eye on this, but this stuff happens, contracts come and go, stuff moves around. I'm sure Sony's trying to bounce around between different services, but unfortunately Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune is no longer on Pluto TV. Hopefully Jeopardy also comes back, we'll see. All right, well, that's it for today. Happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week. I'll be back on Monday. But a huge thank you to everybody for your support. We've had some really good months recently. The YouTube channel is really taking off. If you're new here, thank you. It's hard to believe for years we've been doing these. Mine is a little hiatus there in the middle. But I'm back and it's great. Just want to take a moment and say a huge thank you. For 10 years now, I've been doing Core Carter and coverage. I launched Core Carter's News over 10 years ago, which is hard to believe. And it's been a wild, fun ride. But none of this would have been possible without you. I'm really excited for the rest of 2024 and what's to come in 2025. I think it's going to be a very interesting second half. Mark my words, we're probably going to see many streaming services in the next year and a half shut down. Like I've said many, many times, there are not enough subscribers out there to support the number of services that are on the market. People are not going to subscribe to four different versions of a live TV service. They're just not. They're going to pick one. And because of that, you're also competing with a growing number of people, for example, who don't want any live TV and they're happy with on-demand stuff like Netflix and Amazon Prime and Disney Plus. Because of that, we're probably going to see some live TV services shut down. We're probably going to see some on-demand services shut down. Maybe even some big names merge together or completely go out business. So that leaves me with a final question this weekend. What live TV streaming service, what streaming service period, do you think is most likely to go out of business or be merged into another service? Leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Well, that's it for today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I hope you're all going to be safe this weekend. 
as everybody tries to get a last little bit of summer in before the school years start. I know many parts of the country already has. And the rest, they start next week, it seems like. So take care. Be safe. I'll talk to you all again real soon.